La Mise Dic of Alauda, New York, presented a vision for a peaceful settlement of the entire situation, one democratic state. In this movement, because essentially when Palestinians voted for Hamas under internationally monitored elections, they weren't only voting for an Islamic government. In fact, many of those who voted for Hamas were Christian. What they voted for was full resistance to Israeli occupation and one Palestinian state in all of Palestine from the 48 territories until the southern tip of Palestine. And that call is really simple. It's a call to be treated as equals on all levels, on the economic, on the social, on the political, on the human. Full equality with the rest of mankind. The right to return and remain in their homes in dignity. The right to live without restrictions. The right to visit their brothers and sisters in Syria and Lebanon and Egypt and to be reunited as one part of the Arab world as they were before 1948. For one democratic state in all of Palestine. So they are welcome to stay on the condition that we see, as my mentor often says, the full dismantlement of all Zionist structures, all Zionist laws, all Zionist institutions, the repatriation of every single Palestinian refugee and their descendant, reparations for every Palestinian and their descendants. And on those conditions, we will have full equality and not Jewish supremacy, which is what we have in Israel, what we have in the occupied Palestinian lands. One democratic state where all human beings, Palestinian, Arab, Christian, Jewish, are treated as equals. And that is Kevin Ovenden, whose brilliant speech we presented on our program last week, presented a strategy for going forward. They're forced to try to redefine the siege. Today, the Israeli government announced it was going to allow more goods in. It's very interesting when you look what they say they'll allow in now that have not been allowed in for four years. Children's toys are some of them. But the construction goods and, above all, the free movement of people and of goods and of capital, which is critical for the development of Gaza and Palestine as a free and independent entity, is something that they're not allowed to, uh, prepared to happen. And we need to give a clear answer that nothing less...